head to the dollar store and grab a couple of these six inch wooden craft squares and a patriotic bandana. We're gonna make a 4th of July craft. So I bought five of these six inch wood craft squares at the Dollar Tree to make a cube. So just add some wood glue on one edge and then add three little one inch nails. Yes, I know you could cut your own um, wood squares, but I know not everyone is as comfortable using power tools. So this is a great option. And then you can just buy all dollar store supplies. But just hammer in three little nails on each edge, evenly spaced. And then add the next little wood square. So these are gonna be staggered. So each face of the cube is gonna have like one short end showing, if that makes sense. So just add wood glue and then press that next square up against it and then hammer in the three three little nails and then for your fourth little wood square you want to be sure to add wood glue on both ends before you then hammer the nails into those two corners And then the fifth little wood square will not be big enough to completely cover the bottom of the cube, but that's okay. Here was my workaround. I added wood glue right to that inner edge of the bottom of the cube. And then just for fun, I added some hot glue as well for more like instant hold because I wasn't sure how well these nails were going to work. So just press that square centered onto the bottom of the cube and then add one little one inch nail into each corner of that wood square. And then you have a little cube. Next, grab a bandana from the dollar store. This was a fun little pattern with like a black or a red and white check pattern and blue and white stars. So grab fabric scissors and cut a square that's about the size of the face of the cube or maybe just a little bit larger than one face of the cube. And then also just trim off the little seam on the edge so you just have a flat piece of fabric that you're working with. And then since the bandana that I was working with was a, like a synthetic material, I decided Instead of trying to get really clean edges like you could get with a cotton or a natural fiber material, I decide, decided to go with it since these edges were fraying the second I cut them to just fray the edges about a quarter of an inch on all sides. Instead of fighting with the fabric, just work with what you got, right? But also, if you cannot find these bandanas, they also have patriotic scarves at the dollar store with cute patterns that I think would be really fun for this project or any sort of patriotic fabric like go to the craft store and get like a fat quarter or something to to make this project with and then it was time to add my little frayed fabric square to the wooden cube and so for that i just used regular old mod podge i think this was matte in a little container from the dollar store use a flat one inch paintbrush and apply a real generous coat this wood had a lot of texture to it so I felt like it used quite a bit more Mod Podge than you would need if you were using like a sanded down or a smoother finished wood. So just keep that in mind and then smooth your piece of fabric over it, press it down, and then add another layer of Mod Podge right on top. And as you smooth that Mod Podge out make sure all the bubbles are gone and you get even coverage all the way over your fabric. 
then repeat that process on all the other three sides and let it dry and then finish everything off with some nautical jute rope. So remember how that square at the bottom was a little smaller than the cube? That's fine because we're gonna fill in that little edge, that little lip there with jute rope. So just run a line of hot glue and then pull the jute rope tight and smooth it down over the hot glue and do that all the way around your little cube. And then at the end there, you just cut off that tail end and run hot glue right up to the starting point of the jute rope and then pull those two tail ends together to create like a nice finished seam. And then I also repeated the process on the top of the cube. So I just added more hot glue and ran the jute rope all the way around that top little edge of the planter. I feel like it gave a little bit more of a finished looking result and a little bit more of a rustic look. But then that was it. So I added a little faux plant, but you could display fresh flowers. If you wanted to put like a real life plant in this, I would maybe drill some uh, holes in the bottom of the planter just for drainage and maybe considering add like a waterproof liner or something. But there you have a cute little patriotic American flag little planter box ready for 4th of July or decorating all summer long. I hope you enjoyed this craft tutorial. Until next time, happy making!